Welcome back to the Caravan Channel and the 2015 Tokar Awards. And now we're looking at the 1550 to 1699 kilo class, a group dominated by mid-size 4x4s and family estate cars. The shortlist comprised the Mazda 6 Tourer, the Mazda CX-5 and the new Nissan X-Trail. We're big fans of the Mazda CX-5 at Watcar. It's a great SUV to drive, and with the 175 PS version we've got here, it's a great tow car too. Straight line stability is very good when it's towing, and with an electronic handbrake added for this year, it's much easier to hill start with the trailer in tow too, which has held the car back in the past. In this specification, the Mazda isn't cheap, but it is a formidable middleweight tow car. There's no doubt that the CX-5's latest round of nips and tucks helped it onto class victory this year, but it's a model that's been around for a few years now. Let's find out how it got on when we first tested it in 2012. Mazda has a loyal following in caravanning circles and its big 4x4, the CX-7, is a firm practical caravan favourite. Now that car has a little brother, the new CX-5. It promises the same sporty drive as the larger CX, but with lower emissions and better fuel economy. Is the CX-5 really as economical as Mazda claims? Well, we towed a Sterling Eccles Sport 524 over a mixture of motorways and urban roads and achieved 32.3 mpg. And don't go thinking that economy comes at the expense of performance. There's no doubting the strength of the Mazda's engine. With well over 300 pound-feet of torque, there's more than enough muscle to pull any suitably matched caravan. With a Sterling Eccles Sport in tow, we went from 30 to 60 in just 10.6 seconds. That's considerably quicker than most of the Mazda's rivals could manage. The Mazda combines speed with stability. At a steady 60 miles per hour, car and caravan feel secure and steady. In an emergency manoeuvre, the CX-5 proves agile, responsive and composed. The firmly controlled suspension can seem rather stiff though. The firm ride is more noticeable in day-to-day -day driving than when towing. And it's a price we'd be prepared to pay for the Mazda's sporty handling. What's less easy to excuse is the volume of wind and road noise which can be heard in the cabin at speed. An Audi Q3, for example, is considerably quieter. On the other hand, the Mazda is much roomier and more practical than the Q3, or most similarly priced SUVs for that matter. There's plenty of head and leg room front and rear, and the cabin is wide enough for three passengers to be happy in the back. Thanks to generous luggage space, there's no need to travel light, and folding the seats down is a quick and easy job. If we're being picky, the finish could be more upmarket, but a long list of standard equipment, including a powerful Bose stereo, is some compensation. The CX-5 has a nose weight limit of 88 kilograms. The test car has been supplied with 13 pin towing electrics. Now they're tucked up under the bumper a little way, but not so far as to make it difficult to hook up. It has a few rough edges, the CX-5, but its excellent stability, powerful engine, and surprising economy make the Mazda one of our favourite mid-sized 4x4s. With weights ranging from 1700 to 1899 kilos, the fourth weight category is getting into serious tow car territory. The judges had a tough task separating the shortlist, which comprised the BMW X3, the new Volkswagen Passat 4 Motion, and the new Land Rover Discovery Sport. If you're looking for a family estate car with four-wheel drive, a high curb weight and punchy performance, the Volkswagen Passat 4 Motion fits the bill. With a 240 PS diesel engine, this car is seriously quick, but it's stable with it, towing straight and true at the legal limit and beyond. Just like the lighter Passat in our second weight class, the 4 Motion makes a very capable all-rounder. It's a real surprise to win two awards, um, particularly with the same vehicle. And we're very pleased that the Passat has, uh, has these two successes. I mean, Volkswagen is very much aware of how many people use cars for towing. I think it's something like 10% in the UK. That's equivalent to Volkswagen's entire market share. So, you know, if we can make even greater inroads into that part market, aided by these awards, then uh, it's going to be very good for us. The final weight category brings out the big guns of the towing world. With all of them weighing over 1,900 kilos, as you might expect, they tow superbly. But our shortlist consisted of the Land Rover Discovery, the Range Rover Hybrid, and the Volkswagen Touareg. The heavyweight class at the Tokar Awards has been dominated for years by the Land Rover Discovery. This year was no different. 
Once again, it demonstrated that it's absolutely unflappable with a caravan or large trailer in tow. The Discovery is very stable whatever speed you're travelling at, and through the lane change manoeuvres and the hill start, it's absolutely unflappable. If you're moving horse boxes, boats or large caravans and need a large tow car to do it, there is nothing better than a Land Rover Discovery. We first got our hands on the Land Rover Discovery 4 back in 2012, yet it continues to astound us with its fantastic towing ability. Let's remind ourselves how it got on when David Motton put it through the full tow car test. No 4x4 has won more often at the Tow Car Awards than this, the Land Rover Discovery. Since 2007, there's only been one year when it's failed to pick up some silverware. No car stays on top forever though, and the Discovery 4 is now three years old. Is the big Land Rover still our favourite 4x4? It doesn't take long behind the wheel to remember why we've rated the Discovery so highly for so long. Even with a large tourer behind you, towing seems effortless in the Discovery. The big 3-litre diesel has enough oomph to tow just about anything you can get a pair of wheels under. We towed a Stirling Elite Searcher, a big twin-axle caravan, from 30 to 60 in just 9.9 .9 seconds. Once up to speed, nothing upsets the big Land Rover's composure. Few tow cars are so relaxing to drive over long distances. If you need to swerve in an emergency, the Discovery is remarkably responsive for a car weighing some two and a half tonnes. Although it can't match the poise of the latest Mercedes M-Class, the Land Rover puts the caravan firmly in its place. Passengers might not thank you for throwing them about, but otherwise we can't see them complaining. Even those in the third row have reasonable head and leg room, something you can't say about too many seven-seaters. Each row of seats is higher than the one in front, so everybody gets a good view out. The driver definitely has the best seat in the house though. The high up driving position gives a commanding view and the seats are well padded and comfortable. If you need to carry lots of luggage rather than lots of people, all but the front seats fold away to leave a huge 2,558 litres to fill. Talking of big numbers, the Land Rover's nose weight limit is a whopping 150 kilograms. Unusually for a new car these days, the Discovery has been supplied with twin 7-pin electrics. Running costs are steep and we could only manage 20.7 mpg towing around our economy route. The price is high but strong resale values are some compensation. Yes, it's expensive to buy and run but if you have the means the Land Rover is worth it. The Discovery remains the undisputed king of the heavyweight tow cars. In addition to the main weight categories, there were three special awards this year. One for the most environmentally friendly, one for the best petrol tow car, and one for the best ultralight tow car. Here are the winners. This year's best ultralight tow car is the Citroen C4 Cactus Blue HDI 100. Our top petrol tow car for 2015 is the Ford Mondeo 1.5T Echo Boost. The winner of this year's green award is the powerful but fuel efficient Volvo V40 Cross Country D4. We're almost at the climax to this year's awards, but before I bring you the overall winner, let's take a look back at who's taken the laurels the past two years. In 2013, the Skoda Octavia proved that a tow car needn't be heavy or expensive. It's stable at speed and more than powerful enough. In 2014, Nissan's British-built Qashqai was a worthy winner. It's heavy enough to be a suitable match for a variety of vans, and it's practical and stable. OK, I'll tease you no longer. So far, we've brought you plenty of great category winners, from less than 1,400 kilos to more than 1,900 kilos. But which one of them makes our overall winner? Over to you, Mr Motton. Many worthy winners, but there can only be one overall champion, and that car Volkswagen Passat. It's not easy choosing between so many strong tow cars, but our judges were unanimous in naming this, the Passat Estate, their favourite. 
The two VWs to win awards, it's the 150 PS car, which is our pick. It's not as powerful as the four motion, but it's better value for money and will cost less to run. What's more, it still has plenty of pulling power for towing a mid-sized Tourer, and at speed, the car is absolutely rock solid. With that, we come to the end of another show, and thankfully, I can put my glad rags away for another year. Next time, we'll be back to doing what we know best, the things being towed rather than the things doing the towing. So don't forget to join us for our fourth summer special, when we'll be bringing you plenty of great reviews and inspiring travel ideas. In the meantime, you can keep up with us on Facebook or via our website, and don't forget that the Motorhome channel follows in just a few minutes. Until next time, bye-bye.